go. Hmm. So. Well, we'll see what happens. Dixie's speech at the guys about tightening up their work. God, that pissed me off when I heard about that. Yeah, well, because I mean, that's the biggest problem the company has is the work rate of the, of the guys. <laughs> you know you know what is just really made me mad about it is, like, Sunday morning, it, when I first heard her talk about that, I, the, you know, the first thing I thought about was Matt Morgan fucked up a border toss twice. And yeah. I don't know if that's why she gave everybody the speech or... or but, but, but tightening up to me... I would view tightening up as you're showing too much light in your holds or, or your blows. Really? What match, that, like, what match would that be? I guy on a border toss would... Because would, that's just a guy who uh, clearly... You know, that's like the Kane CM Punk thing. They, you know, someone tried a move that the guy was too big to do the move on, and they paid the price. And that's, you know, that's not bad work. I mean, it's bad. I, I guess it's bad work, but I, I, I don't know. What would Dixie I mean, Carter know about showing light in your match? I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with, like, you know what she meant by that. But, but to me, like, that's one guy. You know, that's Matt Morgan being too big for a spot. That's not something you would, if I was, if, you know, like, you, you were going to give, like, a talk about that, you would go to Matt Morgan and Hernandez and just, like, No, okay, you wouldn't. You know who you'd go to? You spot in your match anymore. I don't think you would have to no. gather everyone together and I, just go, you know, like, don't, you know, it, it, you know, just from that. I, I strongly disagree with what you just said. You, you do not go to Matt Morgan and Hernandez. You go to whoever it was that thought, I've got a great idea. Let's put Matt Morgan and Hernandez in a singles match in a cage on the pay-per-view. I mean, who did well, not know going into that, that match was going to suck? Issue for years. They stopped booking. They, they haven't booked matches on pay-per-view with the idea of even Matt, you know, of, of, of understanding match quality since, you know, probably since Scott Diamore was booker. Okay, well, well then the person that, that's putting these matches together, they, there's one that needs to tighten up. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's Vince Russo. Well, he needs to tighten up his, his matchmaking then because, it, you know, Sunday morning it was obvious that match was going to suck and they were going to screw stuff up. I don't know. I just, I really got upset when I heard that. Dixie Carter, especially when, like, last night, the best thing on that pay-per-view last night was the wrestling. <laughs> Some of the wrestling. I mean, you had a great beer money, Motor City Machine Guns. Flair and, and Lethal was fun. The, um... What was the other match? AJ and or the the Pope and the uh, match was good, and then the Pope match with Angle was good. Yeah, and and you're 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 upset, Dixie, because of the the uh, the work rate on the show last night. That was the problem. I don't know. No, the problem was nobody bought the show. <laughs> that's that's a problem too, right there. Although I don't know that she knows that yet, because that you know, well, she knows of course she knows that. We all know that. Yes. But. Did you? Um, nah, she will talk about this a little bit later. Let's get into uh, to Raw here. Actually, I guess. I'll- 